Well, hello again, welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. And uh, boy, are we having fun. Now, by popular demand, I'm, uh, I'm going to look at the, um, uh, the heaters on the valves individually with regard voltage and current. Okay, now <clears throat> I've got the, uh, the variable voltage power supply set to it flickers between 12.6 and 12.7 and uh, I've got this meter directly connected across the valve pins on the bottom of the base uh, and it's showing 12.6 which is with the, uh, uh, the heater voltage uh, specified for this particular valve. So you can see <clears throat> these, these, these cables here, either 4 or 6 mil, uh, it might be 4 mil, I thought it was 6 mil, but they're pretty thick anyway. So there's, there's um, negligible voltage drop across the actual uh, <clears throat> wire I'm using for the, uh, the heaters, for the heater filament. Okay, <clears throat> so 12.6 volts. Uh, it's daylight, so uh, not really a fair comparison of the, the glow factor. And what do we have? 9.8 amps. Yeah, okay. 9.8 amps. Um, out of curiosity, what do I do with that, uh, with that clamp meter? I'll put the clamp meter on and just see how, how well it ties up with that, um, with that there. So, with the correct heater voltage, 12.6 volts, this, this valve is drawing 9.8 amps. So I'll just uh, I'll just pause it there and um, I'll fit the other the other valve and um, see if that's any different. So what did I say that was? 9.8. Is that fluctuating? No. Okay. Um, I'll be be back in less than a, less than a jiffy with the other valve. Okay. Here's the other uh, here's the other valve. Again, measuring the voltage directly at the valve base on the pins, 12.6. We've got the same fluctuating 12.6, 12.7, so we've got um, no voltage drop worth mentioning across the heater wiring. And 9.8 amps. There we go. So they're both drawing 9.8 amps. Both valves are drawing 9.8 amps at the uh, specified 12.6 volts. Well, it's good to know that both of the valves are drawing the uh, the same uh, the same heater current. So, uh, seriesing them up shouldn't uh, shouldn't be a problem. And it's uh, it's going to be nicer to have a you know a 10 amp heater circuit than a uh, 20 amp heater circuit, so uh, I think uh, I think we'll go with that. Now, just for fun, I'm just going to get the. Actually, I should have prepared this earlier, but uh, I'll just get the clamp meter. Put that on DC and zero it. There we go. And uh, I'll just clip that onto one of the leads. And see how closely okay let's say 9.5 power supply is saying 9.8 <coughs> excuse me well you know it's uh, certainly in the ballpark isn't it it would have been uh, would have been nicer if it had shown 9.8 but you know 9.5 what about um, maybe if I just Zero that again. In case. No, it's still saying it's still saying the same thing. Now put it on the other lead. Sometimes if you reverse these uh, current meters, they'll give you a different indication, strangely enough. It's not not often by much, but they do give you a different indication. So let's put that there. Well, there we go. That's slightly closer to the um, slightly closer to the 9.8, showing 9.6. I would prefer prefer to be the other way around by the look of it. Like that, like that. How does that look? Yeah, 9.6. <coughs> 
gives you an indication of the direction of current flow as well. <laughs> so there we go. So 9.6 amps, 12.6 volts measured directly on the valve pins. 9.8. That's uh, both of the uh, the GU81Ms. Uh, the heaters looked at individually. Well, I hope you found that interesting, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.